Cam Studio is a free or open source program that you download to your computer and with it you can record both the activity and audio of your computer. It works great for creating videos for support issues, frequently asked questions, product demonstrations, and my favorite, video-based information products that you can sell. Uh, did I mention Cam Studio is free? Cam Studio is not Camtasia Studio. They are nowhere near related to one another except the closeness of the name. Cam Studio is only a recorder where Camtasia Studio is both a recorder and an awesome editor but it is going to set you back about 300 bucks and oh by the way Cam Studio is free. In this video I'm going to go over some of the basic settings to get you on your way to recording your videos with Cam Studio. Now there are a ton of different settings you can adjust to your specific needs so my goal here is to point you in the right direction if you want to deviate from any of the settings that I'm going to show you here in this video. So let's get to work. Now first off there's a couple of things you need to download. Number one you need to download Cam Studio and you can get that from camstudio.org but before you get there I want you to first download this free Kodak. Now what a Kodak is it's kind of like a zip program for videos. Without using a Kodak, the raw video that you're recording for say a 30 second video might end up being somewhere around, oh, let's say 200 gigabytes. Uh, it's a bit of an exaggeration, but bear with me here. With the Kodak, that same video without reducing the quality whatsoever might be two megabytes. Yeah, that big of a reduction. Again, a bit of an exaggeration, but I think you get my point. So with the proper Kodak, you're gonna have the same quality video at the end only it's going to be much smaller in file size. Now there's a ton of different codecs out there you can choose so I would say if you're open to suggestions I would go with FFD Show and you can get that at sourceforge.net slash projects slash FFD Show and it is free so don't worry about it. Come on in here, download this, install it and you'll probably have to reboot your computer for it to show up inside of your Cam Studio software. So once you got this out of the way, come on back over here to Cam Studio, scroll on down the page here a bit, and of course read all that stuff. And this first green button is one you want to download your Cam Studio software. At this point, it's version 2.7. Now you'll probably see this guy right here. It's another codec that is suggested by Cam Studio, but I'm suggesting that you don't use this one. It's totally up to you. I've never used this, so I can't speak personally about how good or not good it is. Because you see Cam Studio comes with a limit of two gigabytes before it crashes. So the output or the video size has to be less than two gigabytes and in its raw state without any codec you're looking at about maybe four or five minutes in length. And that's basically how long the video should be anyway, but that's beside the point. With this lossless codec, you're probably going to get closer to the 9 to 10 minute mark. But with this codec here, you're going to get closer to oh, 2 to 3 hours before you reach that 2 gigabyte file size. So yeah, there's a big difference. And another point I want to make before we get on to the settings is right here, checking out the form from Cam Studio. Go ahead and click on that real quick here. Now this is a very active form so you can get a ton of information out of here. The drawback to this though is that you cannot post any questions here unless you're a member and it's by invite only. So before you have to use it, before you have to post any questions, I would say come on in here, apply for membership. It doesn't cost you anything, just a little bit of time to apply for membership. Basically you're sending them an email saying, hey, invite me. And then it might take some time before you receive that invite. And they're kind of explaining that to you right here. So anyway, if nothing else, bookmark this site for reference. And like I said, as soon as you can, apply for membership. Okay, now then you just come on back here, download the program. After you've got the codec installed, download, install this, pretty straightforward stuff. And once you get all that stuff done, open it up. Now before we get into the various settings, I want to show you that right out of the box, Cam Studio will work. So without messing around with anything, just click on the record button. By the way, record, pause, stop. This changes the look of the interface. Click it once, that's what you get. Click it twice, that's what you get. Click it third time and you come back to normal. This one covers some of the annotations and we're not going to get into that. But anyway, now you know what that covers. And this guy here toggles the record output from AVI, which I say leave it alone, leave it at AVI, or you can click on that and record to SWF, which is kind of an older flash version. I would say don't mess with SWF at all, but it is there just in case you want to do what I say not to do. So leave it at AVI and you're good to go. Now then, let's go ahead and click on record and see the little flashy corners there. 
that's the size out of the box that's the size of your recording and you see here this guy right here which you can move out of the way tells you this is the size that's being recorded right now we're up to about 30 megabytes and we're only into right now 20 seconds 40 megabytes that's pretty outrageous well, let's go ahead and cut this now to stop and by default it's set up to save the recordings to your videos directory so let's go ahead and give this a name test 01 right out of the box and then the player comes up as soon as it's saved and you can play it now by default right out of the box no audio so that's one of the first things we're going to be changing another thing we're going to be changing is adjusting the codec now let's go ahead and take a look at the size of that file because i think it's right around 50 megabytes let me see right here we are test one almost 60 megabytes and under 30 seconds in length that's going to be a fat file if you want to get any kind of recording out of that at all so let's come on back here and make some adjustments now let's first go through these real quick here pretty self-explanatory but a record pause stop just like we've got right here region by default it's fixed region I would say leave it at that well, let's go ahead and click on this so we can make some adjustments to the size now my suggestion is to go HD that's high def and that's 1280 by 720 1280 here 720 in height this is the size of the videos uploaded to YouTube or the good ones anyway but for the sake of this video because that's what I'm recording right now is 1280 by 720 I don't want this to be the exact same size let's go a little bit smaller say 640 by 360 and click OK now that's the region under options this is where it gets fun and this is where you can really do some personalization too now as far as adjusting the settings beyond what I'm going to be showing you here I would suggest that you set a benchmark while you're doing your testing get you a notepad and pen and write down the different outputs the different file sizes for those particular settings that you're going to be making here and record the same thing like for example record the cam studio page here scroll down a little bit say about halfway read some text read the same text scroll down to the same spot on each one of your tests so that the only thing different is your settings everything else is the same use that as kind of a benchmark to go by okay that said let's get on back over to this guy here come on into options First thing we want to do is record the audio because again by default it's not recording. So go ahead and click on this one here, record audio from microphone. Come back into options, then come to audio options, audio options for microphone. Select the microphone that you have plugged into your computer and if you don't have a microphone, my suggestion is USB type microphones, not the kind that has a little pointy plug in like you might plug into your cell phone. Get a USB range anywhere between 10 to a couple hundred bucks but I've got this one here plugged in and that's what I'm going to go with recording format the default that's no good so click on that button get the drop down select a 44.1k mono 16 bit because a majority of people will put up with the nasty video if the audio is perfect but if the video is perfect and the audio is nasty chances are they're not going to be sticking around very long at all so you really want to get the best audio recording possible compressed format PCM leave that as it is everything else on this page here is just fine the way it is just select the right microphone change the recording format to 44.1k mono 16-bit everything else is fine click on OK come on back to options video options change out this guy here because that's what's going to make your fat file you don't want that that's the default you want to go for the FFD show codec that you already downloaded and installed right there don't worry about configuring you can go in here and adjust all kinds of cool stuff I mean there's a ton of stuff in here you can mess with but I would say for the sake of this video anyway leave it at the default everything else on here is just fine the way that it is that simple change your codec click on OK you're ready to roll now there are other options in here you can mess with but for the sake of this video that's all we need turn on the audio to microphone adjust the audio output come into video change the codec you're good to go click on record and let's move that in here there's our flashy corners there and you can see here the time elapsed we're going to shut it off at a a little under 30 seconds so we can compare it to the 27 second part of the first video that we recorded and let's come on up here get ready to stop and there okay so we're pretty close anyway let's go ahead and save that as test 02 
And by the way, this one should be bigger than the first one because this first one does not have audio on top of the video. This one, Test 2, has both the audio and the video, which actually will make a much larger file size. And then this pops up as soon as it's saved. Click on play. Uh, let's move that in here. There's our flashy. There it is. There. You can hear the audio. And you can see here. Okay. Now then let's open up that folder and compare the two files. Ooh, check that out. Almost right at the same time, 27 seconds. But this one here with audio, under 3 megabytes. This one here is under 60 megabytes. So you can see the big difference there and just changing that codec. So those are the basic settings for your cam studio output. Stick with those and you'll do perfectly. Again, you can go in and play around with it, make other adjustments if you find the need to, but right out of the box with these small adjustments, you can have a perfect recording using the free cam studio software. That's going to bring us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.